let's quickly um, bring on board the next uh, discussion, which is on the ugly incident of kidnapping happening, you know, across the states of the Federation. And we zero down to what uh, transpired in Edo State. Uh, we had a challenge uh, a few days back over uh, one reverend uh, father, a, a priest uh, in the person of Odia, who was killed by the uh, abductors. And then again, we, we're having all over the news another ugly incident of one reverend father Philemon of St. Joseph Catholic Church and uh, Peter Udo of uh, St. Patrick Catholic Church in Uromi and Ugboha respectively, still being in the detention of the subductors. Now, the whole issue here seems to be creating a lot of, um, let me not call it pandemonium. Now, it seems to be creating a lot of worries on the minds of Nigerians and even the Edo state citizens, uh, looking at what we have here. Now, bringing respite in this direction, the governor, acting governor rather, of Edo State, uh, Comrade Philip Shaibu, did say that they are ensuring that they will strengthen the security architecture to really nip this in the board. And now, what do you make of this? Uh, because we seem to uh, be fed up of all of these uh, challenges facing us as, reg as regards to insecurity, Neville. Talking about insecurity, uh, as it relates to kidnapping, let me just give you an instance. I will, I will give you a, a personal example. I will link it up with the issue of kidnapping. There was a day, not quite long, uh, I saw one of my former students who was a policeman. And because I always engage the police for one reason or the other. And he was like, ah, help me to thank God that I was almost killed by kidnappers. When they, they killed our colleagues, we went to the forest to go and retrieve their bodies. We were attacked. And I told him, I said, in the marketplace, I said, you see the reason, you I said, go and thank your God very well that you did not die. <coughs> I said, I've seen cases of people, people that I even know that were arrested for kidnapping. You, a month or two months later, you still see them on the street. And so even if they kidnap somebody, and you know, fear of a repressor when mm. the kidnapper is set free. Mm. And who is setting them free? It is the police. I'll give you an instance. That's why I said it is the police. And some of them were watching. I will know that what I'm saying is the truth. They will be hiding their heads. One, my yoga one was killed. My, my, my yoga cousin was killed at one company close to this lady called Cogate. And the matter was reported to the police. From here, we got to state command. I paid over 100,000 to do autopsy at BBTH. Do you know that when they were writing their report for the matter to be taken to court with those that were arrested, they said there was no autopsy conducted in that report. I have the report with me. They said, uh, uh, there, there were some reasons that they gave that made the case to collapse when they got to court. And I was a principal witness. I was never invited. When I came and I said, I want to know the state of this case, said, the matter was taken to court, the suspect were discharged and acquitted. And I took the matter up to the governor of the state, to the House of Assembly, to the Inspector General of Police, and to, and to other higher police authorities. So what am I trying to tell you? Now linking it up with the issue of, of kidnapping. You are saying that the police is, is, is a yes, major... They, 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 yes, they are, yes. They, in some this. of them, not all of them. But, 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 but you are not they, looking at the aspect of probably uh, the pressure that is being mounted on them. on them. Are you neglecting that? Now let me... Let me I, I need to give our people insight and include those that are in government. If a government is concerned about tackling insecurity, it's not just making a statement on television of visiting a place where an offense has been committed, mm. or you go and greet the people. The government of a state should be interested through, starting from the police, through their own judicial, uh, the, 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 the state judiciary, to ensure that those who are apprehended and are linked to issues of violent crime that threaten the peace of the environment, they are immediately charged to court. It is in court they are going to prove their innocence so long as they are linked and they are arrested. Mm. So you don't allow police to say, okay, let's uh, go and bring one billion, go and bring two million. They have granted bail in the name of their, their face. Uh, do, but don't forget the Benin uh, Auchi Expressway. Expressway yeah. I, I think our mind should be there yeah. because that seems to be the den of, yeah. of, of, of robbers. Yes, let, me and talk, let me talk about our... how do we, because we've heard on this platform, yeah. you know, various ways in which the government can come into this. What should be done? Let me we we seem to be tired. Let me give you an instance. Auchi, Benin Auchi Road. It's a very small place. From here to Auchi, from Benin to Auchi, it's about... That's around 200 kilometers. 
you know, about world at 40 something or world at 50 something kilometer from beneath to Aoji. Now, let's give, let's look at this critically. I say these are issues of government. The government of Nigeria, federal government of Nigeria, when they want to conduct an election in the state, like a could state governorship election, check the number of security men, yeah, soldiers and police that were deployed to Kitty State. Yeah. Is a Kitty State up to half of half, half of those state? The answer is no. Now, all the nooks and crannies of a Kitty State, you will see the security men, police, soldier, civil defense, uh, road safety, prison warden, immigration of them, they are deployed to the field. Over 50,000. You say one day thing, don't forget. Yes, one day thing. And then you have a forest, this out road forest. That when you follow the forest, you can come out at a, at a Uyere, along this uh, Naifo road, or you come out at a, at a Uzeba, if you pass uh, Ifo uh, through uh, uh, Usobe. That's no one yeah, Yes, or you pass that Uyere, you come out at Uke. Okay. okay, go straight to the point. Then you pass there, you okay. get to Uyere, you come out at, uh, at uh, Umuna, the, or that Udusina. If you bring 10,000, for example, 10,000 police, just say 5,000 police, 5,000 soldiers, and station them in strategic places, comb this forest. <laughs> comb this forest. In one day, in one day, the forest will be empty of this. We country. seem not to have done that. The government has seemed not to have done yes. that. What and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What, 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 you said, what, what you just said, what you just said, I believe government functionaries are watching. Government functionaries are watching and whatever they tactics they may be the using, the whatever the tactics they may be deploying to that, you know, it's not everything we will say uh, here on this platform because security matters are not supposed to be released. But I think we should buy into that and see how let, we let, can let's really get round uh, off. Ibrahim Momo's mm -hmm. reaction on this. Mm -hmm. What's your reaction on this? Well, I think really that um, the Benin Awuchi Road and other highways in our country has been has been soft targets where yeah, people are kidnapped. The Benin Lagos at the time, though it's a bit, it has gone down now, at the time, there were these kidnappings and killings. Um, the first thing is fixing the road. Uh, yes, but, you, but let me quickly come in here. You said, though it has gone down now, in, you don't know the, 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 you don't know, you don't know the uh, tactics that may be deployed next to do it. So we are not after it going down now. We are after the government taking a lasting solution to resolve this. No, no, the point I'm making with okay. it is that one of the things that could have accounted for it is that the road is, is a bit better now. Anybody, if you, if you are a frequent traveler like I do to Benin Lagos Road, you can say Benin that. Benin Road. Benin, I'm talking about Benin Lagos Road. Okay. Benin, Benin Lagos, okay, okay. So okay. That led to the going down. But we, are not, we cannot say the same thing for the Benin Aochi. Benin Aochi. We can't say that. Because I, I was in Aochi um, last week, Monday. And I'm traveling again, you know, because of celebrations this weekend, just before this weekend now. So one of the things we are seeing is that they have to now go through Iraq, man. Uh, you know, you have to cut off a section of that road because the road is bad. Yeah, because we, the road is bad. Yes, and the road you are passing, yes, it's a bit better in terms of uh, uh, If you say the road is bad, it's not motorable. <laughs> it's not motorable. So, so okay. if they and fix, so if they secure. fix the road, are you saying that it's if they fix the road, these be... security issues will be resolved? No, it's not, or it's, you are buying into what not... Neville Bakedo said that just as in a day they took the about half population of what we have as per security men to Ekiti, you know. <laughs> Shouldn't same also be done to Benin Aochi Expressway? Well, it Shouldn't it be it's, prioritized? I, I think that... Come in the forest. He said it. Come in the forest. A special uh, unit that will be... At, uh, of the police, for example. And even the, deployment uh, of drones, uh, because Daniel said it we, uh, we, we off can, camera. We can apply technology. Yes. yes. So, so, so because we have, we have this forest daring at mm -hmm. us. Is it, is it a no-goal area, for instance? We, we, we have... We have you see, yes harm being done to our, ecosystem, to our, our natural our environment with okay. the fact that we are, are even allowing our forest to not be kidnappers there. That's not what it is meant for. Okay. It is even in, our, in, our, in, in government's interest to make sure the forests are forests because the air we breathe, the issue of the depletion of the ozone layer, the issue of even our, our food security is intricately tied to our forests. Our forests have a more sublime, more important role to play. Now we are allowing that it not be the, the base of kidnappers and for you know general insecurity, it's something that the government has to be concerned about. Okay, so 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 you are urging the state government to uh, find the a way to bring. Uh, uh, the first yeah, 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 you know, no, 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 yeah, yeah. The state government, because uh, in the first place, the acting governor said that they are going to ensure yeah. that they deploy everything it takes to make sure that this ugly incident is a thing of the past. So 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 so, don't you think uh, this should be be another advice for the uh, acting governor, you know, to uh, yeah. invite the military, you know, invite other sister agencies to come there for us? You know the funny thing, eh? 
I think the government knows what to do. When I say government, I mean the security uh, system. The security, uh, when they had the security council meeting yesterday. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. They know what to do. All right. I think it's maybe lack of resources or, you know, the ineffectiveness of the security forces. So okay, in, thank in, you. In conclusion now, in conclusion, every right in Nigeria should be worried about security issue. What should Nigerians do to defend themselves? Mm, in one minute, please. Nigeria should be security cautious, defenses now. That cautiousness should be there. Because all those that perpetrate crime, they, they, because they are criminally intelligent, they, they study the environment okay. and say, oh, these people, they are lackadaisical or they have a jockey attitude about their security. They cash in on that security gap that individuals and societies have created, have created okay. to, to, to unleash mayhem and to carry out their, okay. their uh, nefarious Thank activities. Thank you so much, Nebula Bakedo, for your articulation. Uh, we quite value that and your presence. And big thanks to you. Uh, Ibrahim Momo for your presence and your influence on this show. Big thanks to you. Well, this is the much we can take on this show. It's TMI, and after this time, we're going to be having an insurance segment to stay. <laughs>